Wow, I'm not even I'm not even done with the album and I'm reviewing it. Okay. I've listened to Nirvana time and time again over the course of this whole year. Well, 2020 onward. I only I got into Nirvana very, very late in my life. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm a little shocked, actually. But, uh, you know, I really love their songs, Come As You Are and Smells Like Teen Spirit, who doesn't? But um, over over the course of 2020, um, during that year, I did, did a lot of research on Nirvana. And, and I was like, my goodness, why was I such a stubborn teenager? Why did I have to listen to Motley Crue, Metallica? Actually, I got into Metallica relatively late, too. but. I was in, in those days in high school. I was into Queen, Motley Crue, and Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. Only recently I just got into Nirvana. Why did I have to be in my early twenties to discover all these awesome musicians? You know. Well, I found out about Kurt Cobain earlier in life when I was thirteen, but never really interested in his music. It, when I was thirteen, I was into the Beatles. But um, that's a little bit of a story about my life. Uh, let's get to Nirvana. This was an unexpected. But huge breakthrough for Nirvana. A lot of people think this was their first album. No, 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 no. This is their second album. Nirvana's, Nirvana's second album, never mind, released at the end of September 1991, shot to the top of the charts. It was an unexpected, but a huge hit. And it popularized the grunge era. From, it, from The grunge era went from Seattle all the way to the world, thanks to Nirvana. If it wasn't for Nirvana, bands like Soundgarden and, and Deep Purple and Pearl Jam wouldn't be the superstars they are today. It's all thanks to Kurt Cobain. No questions asked, one of the most influential musicians of all time. One of the most. Not the most, one of the most. This album is just jammed with hit song after hit song after hit song. It's just an album that you just want to put on repeat, you know, keep going. All right, it's over. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's play it again. You know, songs like Stay Away, Breed, Come As You Are. This album has all, pretty much all their big hits. All their biggest hits are on here. And, and of course, track one is, of course, their number one hit. Smells Like Teen Spirit. Does anyone remember Smells Like Teen Spirit? Was anyone in high school? Anyone, was anyone watching this in high school listening to Smells Like Teen Spirit? I sure was when I was in high school. <laughs> in fact, when I was in high school, this was the only Nirvana song that I listened to, sadly enough. But you're never too late to learn new things growing up. Nirvana, never mind, is something that I want to own now. I love the album, I love Nirvana. 1991 was just the year for music. We had Michael Bolton, Mariah Carey, Luther Vandross, we had Tupac Shakur, and now Nirvana. What more could we ask for when it came to music in 1991? Well, actually, we had a whole bunch, including um, Metallica's Black Album and Guns N' Roses' two albums, Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. <laughs> Man, that was a year for music. <sighs> Nevermind really set a new era for music throughout the 90s. It was no more glam metal, no more spandex, makeup, and spray, hairspray wig hair, you know? It was time to ditch all the tights, ditch all the clothes that make you look like Freddie Mercury's stunt double, and time to put on normal clothes, jeans, t-shirts, whatever t-shirt you got, and just play music. Bless you, Kurt Cobain. Thank you so much for giving us a musical legacy that will last for a long time. In fact, they say when Kurt Cobain died, rock and roll died. I was actually so anxious, I asked a friend of mine who I work with, and I asked him, he loves Nirvana, I asked him, did rock and roll die when Kurt Cobain died? And, and he looked at me and he said, no. If anything happened when Kurt Cobain died, rock and roll was fueled when Kurt Cobain died. Kurt Cobain, the person, is just as mysterious as his life. I often wonder what music would be like if Kurt Cobain lived long enough to get treatment for his addictions to drugs and for his mental health. I can only imagine what music and what Nirvana, where Nirvana would be today if, if he had lived to see the legacy that he left behind. In conclusion, I give this album, as always, 10 out of 10 film cameras. Again, I still have never come across an album that would disappoint me. I know there's one out there, but I'm dying to see which one it is. We'll see what happens. Only time will tell when I meet the album that gives me a disappointment.